Hello and welcome to the Solution Architect Professional for AWS Learning Path. This is an advanced course aimed at students who already have a working knowledge of AWS and who have passed the Solution Architect Associate exam, which is a prerequisite for setting the professional exam. My name is Andrew Larkin. I'm a professional certified Solution Architect. I've worked at AWS and for AWS Technology Partners in previous roles. I've been lucky enough to work with many AWS partners and customers, and I've enjoyed helping people build their skills and get certified on AWS. Contributing content to this learning path is Andrew Templeton. Andrew has five of the five certifications and significant experience in DevOps and solution architecture. So onto the content. This learning path is structured around the eight domains outlined in the AWS exam blueprint. We cover the core concepts of each domain and go through sample questions and scenarios to help you develop and build your problem solving skills. We don't claim to know the official answers to sample questions and I'm yet to meet anyone who has achieved 100% in the exam. We do focus on building your ability to understand the criteria, evaluate options and select the best solution for any given requirements. Those are the skills of an AWS Certified Solution Architect. Now, the professional certification exam is not easy. I found it probably the hardest exam I've done, and there's no one single way to earn this professional cert. So you need to read the white papers, do the labs and quizzes, and commit serious time to the console in parallel to doing this learning path. So a bit of housekeeping. We have over seven hours of focused content in this learning path. The Learning Path Primer is designed to get you back into the swing of the AWS certification and to provide a bridge between the associate and professional level content. Andrew's Advanced Deployment Techniques lecture is really interesting and a must do in my view. Ryan's DynamoDB lecture is excellent and recommended if you haven't worked much with DynamoDB. We have quiz steps throughout the content. These help you build knowledge rather than test your recall of the previous module. So don't be too concerned by your score. Running the quizzes in study mode provides you with time to read the explains and follow links to any support information. Each time you do this, you build your subject matter expertise. At the end of most of the domains is a things to remember section. Now this is a scratch pad, if you like, for random thoughts and recommended reading from the team, which we update frequently. So it may feel a little unstructured when you hit it as a result. Everyone has their preferred way of learning, and there is no one way to study for this professional certification. We recommend you do all the courses. You can, of course, pick and choose the order of content as you wish. I'd recommend running videos at 1.5 speed rather than skipping steps if you do find yourself short of time. I've really enjoyed building this learning path for you, and I hope that by doing this content, you can build and develop your skills as an AWS professional. I'm looking forward to seeing you come out the other side with your certification. Remember, you can set the speed of delivery to suit using the player speed settings. You can go fast or slow, whatever suits, you are in control. And any questions, you can talk to us at support at cloudacademy.com. Okay, if you're ready, let's get started.